Man, this coffee so damn good. So the number one question a lot of men want to know, how do you get women or woman? Women, woman, either or. There's really no secret to it. I would love to make this video straight to my YouTube, but I can't do that because Last time I did this shit, I made a video and then it didn't even upload. So I'll just go to Facebook first and then transfer it. See, the problem with a lot of y'all men is, for one, you're so worried about what a woman wants instead of what you want as a man. You're, you, you, you are doing everything you do is based on a woman. Like you're not doing it for yourself. Therefore, it's really not authentic. So if you are, you got, you say you got to go to the gym for women, you got to make money to get more women. All these things you're doing, you're doing for women. And that's your biggest flaw right there. That's your biggest flaw. Because what you don't understand about women is I don't give a fuck if you have $80 billion. I don't give a fuck if you have zero body fat. I don't care if you have the best sex in the world or whatever. Whatever you think that is going to make women like you. At the end of the day, if she don't fucking like you, she don't like you. And there's nothing you could do about it. The problem is y'all are so worried about what women think of you or trying to self-improve for women. You, you're going to fail because you're not doing it for you. When you do something for you... It, it's a burning desire. It, it's a drive. It never dies. So whether a woman curves you or not, or rejects you or not, it does not matter. You still have that drive. But a lot of y'all, you got men going to prison, putting money on a, a Facebook, dope money on Facebook, going to prison for women. Because that's all that basically is about, right? So at the end of the day, man, the key to really getting a woman is just picking the ones who actually like you. That's really the biggest key. You know what I mean? Also, doing things for yourself. When you do things for yourself, trying to become a better man, trying to get a lot of money, trying to become a better uh, person, a, a more self-respectful person, not sleeping around with every woman, trying to understand what it's like to try to be a husband material guy, a father, things like that. These type of things is what actually ultimately get you a better woman, but only if you do them for yourself first, because when you do them for yourself, you're generally going to be happy for doing these things. Therefore, you're going to really be the best version of it. When you do shit just for a woman, it's not going to be the best version of it because you're not doing it for yourself. You're more than likely going to stop doing it at some point. Therefore, you will fall off of this so-called self-improvement. A lot of y'all men are only trying to self-improve for a woman, not for you. Even if you have a woman at home, you should be trying to self-improve for, your, for yourself because ultimately that's what's going to keep you from not trying to self-improve. And she will benefit off of that by being your woman. It's not like, well, if my woman don't like me no more, I'm not going to go out and try to become better and try to find more ways of making money or improving and all that. That's your problem, man. Yes, some women won't tell you like this because some of them don't know no better. A man should not be focused. He should definitely not make his woman feel second, but he's just, he, he needs to put himself first. Just like if you have kids. Yes, your kids don't come before any, or your, nothing comes before your kids. But if you don't put yourself first, how the fuck your kids going to benefit off of you? 
So ultimately, you got to put yourself first in order for your kids to be first. You can't put your kids first and you second. How are they, how they going to make it? They need you. So this is what's going on, man. Men worried about what women think way too much. Who gives a fuck if she don't like you or not? Who cares about, uh, uh, I don't look good and all that? It's subjective. Some women are going to think you look good. Some women ain't. That's just the way life is. And that goes the same way for the best looking women in the world or the so-called best men looking in the world. Everybody ain't nobody's taste. You know what I mean? That's just the way it is. And that's why it's so much of a waste of time and energy to say, to worry about, well, what does a woman like this? Do women like that? Blah, blah, blah. Man, who gives a fuck? Now y'all all about to start looking the same. Every, because if every man starts to do what every, everything that they think a woman likes, then all men are going to start being the same. Be different. Be diverse. Be something different. I'm telling you, they're going to find that more attractive. Woman finds that way more attractive. Being yourself. That's See, one thing about... One thing about the shit that men don't get is every there's always somebody else with more money. There's always somebody else who, quote unquote, looks better to the next person or whatever. There's always somebody else more this or that. And, and a lot of that is opinion, yes. But... That's the whole point, though. See, you guys are so worried about somebody's opinion. You, it's, you're fighting a defeated purpose. Some women might like you today, not like you tomorrow, because five more of her options came up. Now you're not as appealing as she thought you was, because five more options came back out, or five more options showed up or something. Or maybe you said something wrong with something. That's why you cannot try to... Uh, do all this shit that a man is supposed to do as far as self-improvement for a female. That's like women doing the shit they do for men. It's, it's a lost fucking cause. You do this shit for you. You want to go out and work out and get a better body as a woman, you do that shit for you, not for a man. Because if you do it for a man, the moment you get a man, I, I'm not working out no more. Then he going to leave or something. You do this shit for y'all, man, not for women or men. Because at the end of the day, if you're doing it for women or men, you're going to be very disappointed. Because a lot of people, they're not going to appreciate shit you got to offer. They're not going to give a fuck about what you got to offer. They might take advantage of what you got to offer. You got to think about these things. So as a man, you build up all this wealth, you know what I mean, for women. And then you ultimately get the wrong woman who don't like you for you. Now all that wealth is gone. But think about it. What if you was just being yourself and you got a woman? That wouldn't happen. That's why it's irrelevant in the end. It's not irrelevant. Money and looks and shit like that is not irrelevant, but it is. In a way, you should feel you should feel like to yourself you look good. You should be getting money for yourself. You should be doing all this shit for yourself. And ultimately, a woman who comes along in your life benefits from that, but you don't do that just for a woman. You just don't, man. And that's what y'all men don't get. It's sad to see this shit. That's how I know when people say there's no good men. That's a damn lie. They all on YouTube everywhere crying, trying to figure out why y'all women don't like them. So now they're going to start being, they, uh, being trying to be somebody else. They're not. That's the wrong move. Because... The only way to stand out as a man, remember, everybody's got, um, somebody's always got some money somewhere. Somebody's always got some looks somewhere, clothes, etc. The only way to stand out from all that is to be yourself. Can't nobody be another you. But if everybody's doing the same shit, trying to impress a woman, y'all the same. All y'all. That's why you don't do that. You see? God only created one you. If you be you, ain't no fucking with that. Ain't no fuck with that. All these dating sites, man, I'm not saying they don't say good shit. They do, but it's misleading. Because at the end of the day, what if the girl you want don't like you? So all that energy and all that shit you doing, and now you're not happy because that girl don't like you. But what if you did it for you? You would still be happy, regardless if that woman liked you or not. Like I said, a lot of women, one day they like you, the next day they don't. And that can happen to anybody. So it doesn't matter. You could be a fucking superstar and one day she could like you, next day she don't. So what is the point of putting all this fucking uh, energy and thought and all this shit to, to uh, try to get a woman when it's not guaranteed that she's going to like you anyway? Or women, should I say. You know what I mean? 
And no doubt about it, you 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 go to the gym, no doubt about it, you probably get more women to like you, but not the ones that didn't like you. No doubt about it. You get some money, you'll probably get some of the women, uh, you'll probably get more women to like you, but not the ones who really didn't like you. And and you say, nah, that's bullshit. What about old girl who didn't like me? Now nah, I started lifting weights, now she liked me and shit. Or I got money, now she liked me and shit. What happens if that money's gone? What happens if you hurt yourself in the gym? You can't work out no more. She's gone. But if it's a woman who fucks with you for you, it's going to be so fucking hard for that woman to you to lose her because she's really there for you. That's the secret to getting a woman. Being yourself. <laughs> That's it. It's not rocket science, man. All this extra shit is extra shit. Money, all that shit. The, the looks, the sex, the money, all that is extra. But at the end of the day, the only way you're going to be able to keep that woman interested and happy and all that is to be your fucking self. Because if she's not there for you in general, then she's going to leave whenever whatever she is there for is gone. Or she don't want it no more, whatever. And this is the same shit vice versa with women with men same shit so a lot of women let me show my body to get him all that shit the same shit all you gotta do is be yourself to get the right man if that don't work then he's not the right one if you gotta do all this extra magic tricks and shit he's not the right one so if i gotta do all these extra magic tricks for a female to like me she's not the right one so why do you give a fuck and why are you only doing this shit for your woman if you got kids why are you trying to self-improve for a female when you should be doing it for your kids, if anything. If you're going to self-improve for somebody, do it for them. Do it for kids. The kids you got. Not no woman. Even a woman. She shouldn't be doing it for a man. Like if y'all married and shit, do it for the family. But do it for yourself ultimately because you will fail if you do it for anything else other than that. You're not going to have that drive. You're not going to have that, man. Oh, nobody's looking. Nobody's seen me. Uh, nobody's seen my... Uh, Make, see me lift weights today and see me see how much a six pack I got man fuck this shit I don't want to do it no more see what I mean a lot of people if they don't get praised for what they doing they don't even want to do it no more they only doing it to get praised or to get attention or to get sex or something but what happens when you when it still don't work because it, it's not going to work see this is what they lying to y'all about just self improve yourself and hit the gym and all that and you'll get all kind of girls same girls that didn't like you then more. I mean, you're going to, if the woman, it's not ultimately that, 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 that makes a woman like a man more, I guess it helps. Don't get me wrong, but it also depends. What if a woman don't even give a fuck about muscles? What if a woman don't give a fuck about money? See, they, y'all putting women in one box, like everything's going to work with this. Get the fuck out of here. It's not going to work with every woman because every woman don't like the same shit. So a Ku Klux Klan member woman going to like me regardless, oh, I got all the money and the look. She don't give a fuck. She don't like black men. The Ku Klux Klan member wife don't like black men. It does not matter how fucking much I self-improve. So y'all thinking this self-improving shit just going to get you a whole bunch of women. You're sadly mistaken. You know what I mean? The only way that women are really going to, it helps a lot. It helps a lot. But at the end of the day. A woman really ain't fucking with you unless you, unless she really like you for you. And the only way for that to happen is for you to be you instead of, you know, trying to do this shit for women. And that's where y'all men fucking up at. But some men, all they want to do is just fuck. Is just let me fuck real quick. And then after I fuck her, who cares how she feels? So they don't care. You know what I'm saying? But I'm talking to the ones that actually try to be with a woman, you know, one day or some shit. This is how you get there, man. Be yourself, man. And just keep self-improving and shit. But be yourself. You know, um, a lot of money ain't going to make a woman text back, text you back or care. You can't buy love, dog. You can't. And, and if a woman can, if you can make a woman like you just because you lift some fucking weights, then expect that woman's feelings to change at some point. Because that ain't nothing. You look how many other men lift weights. So that's what you want a woman like you for, right? Your weights or your money. Everybody else got that shit too. But guess what everybody else don't got? You. 
You, your per you, who you are as a person. That's what that no man got that. See what I mean? Uh, every man can get the money. Every man can get the clothes. Every man can get the looks. Every man can have well, yeah. Every man can have sex, whatever, decent sex, whatever. But he cannot be you. That's why I tell men all the time: make sure you're good all across the board, and be yourself, and can't nobody fuck with you. And even then, every woman's not gonna like you. That's what y'all don't get. Y'all don't want to accept it. You wanna you wanna cry and pout about it because every woman in the world don't like you. Welcome to fucking reality. <laughs> Everybody's not going to like you. That's why I'm telling y'all in this video that the shit y'all think that's going to help you get women and all that is basically a bunch of bullshit. It helps a little bit, but then again, you got to look at the reality side of it. Okay, I got money now, now more women like me. So, okay, why? And if it's because of money, is that a good thing? Do they really like you? Or do they like the money? You hit the gym. Do they really like you? Or is it some infatuation with looks or something? Because if you break an arm or something, you ain't going to be able to hit that gym. Then what? See what I'm saying? I don't even got to say no more about this shit. Only one way to keep a woman, dog. And to make a woman, to really get a woman. When you say, To me, if a woman really just fuck with you for certain reasons, then you ain't got no woman. You, she don't belong to you. The only way a woman really belongs to you is if she really like you for you and you belong to her. You know what I mean? That's the only way. So if we talk about getting women, really getting women, then yeah, you only you. And no man can uh, duplicate that. Therefore, the only way you would lose that woman is by you fucking up or maybe her fucking up. It ain't going to be because this next guy got more muscles or this next guy got more money or something. That's not going to happen because that woman is not fucking with you for those reasons. So... Y'all got to get that shit up out y'all fucking head thinking that um, self-improvement ultimately is the, the reason how you're going to get other women. It is, but it's not because it depends on if you want women to like you really for realistically or, or some other bullshit like some temporary feelings or factuations and shit like that, that that's really deadly if you fucking get involved in that shit. You don't want to deal with that. You don't want to do that. Scotty Pippen, dog. I'm telling you. Stephen Curry. I need attention from other men. You want that? I don't. And, and if she do feel that way, keep that shit away from Don't embarrass me in public with it. I don't even want her to feel that way. I mean, fuck. Why are you with me then? You know? So, yeah, man. That's about it, man. Y'all men want to know the secret? That's the fucking secret. Being yourself. And not worrying about if a woman likes you or not. That's the biggest secret because that's where all this shit comes from. Because y'all crying and pouting about a woman who don't like you. She probably, five other guys that probably hit her up now. She thinks that she's some shit or something. So now you look less than. So fucking what? Let her fall on her fucking head. That's her choice if she can't see the greatness in you. Why do you want her if she can't anyway? The right one will. That's what it's all about. It's about somebody seeing the greatness in you and you seeing it in them. I don't give a fuck about it. 80,000 billion trillion other women don't see the greatness in me. Only the one that I want to see greatness in, see the greatness in me. That's all that matters. But then again, a lot of y'all want to fuck a lot of women and that's the problem. That's why you upset and butt hurt. Because you want to just sleep around with every fucking body. So, I don't even know why I'm really having this conversation. I just now thought about why y'all are so bad about this woman and this woman and this woman and this woman not liking you. Because you're looking for more than one woman. That's what it really is. So, you're going to remain in that category. You're going you're gonna to remain um, just like the women who do this shit. Every player has his day. So, y'all have fun with that shit. Me, I'm good with one and I know a lot of times I could cause a woman not to be attracted to you after so long. Like, ah, yeah, I got him. That's fine. Let her bump her fucking head. She'll regret it in the end. Like I say, be different. Don't be the same as every other guy. Be different. That's another key to getting women. Be different. Y'all the same. Everybody the same. You're doing the same shit. You're sleeping around with everybody. Same shit. They see the same shit day after day after day. That's why they say every man's the same. Because that's all they see. So be different. Stand out. And stop caring about what they think about you. What do you think about yourself first? That's most important. Never let nobody take that from you.
If I let if I let what women think about me cause me how to feel about myself, then I'd be in the fucking world of trouble. Because like I said, they got everybody all in their face. They probably like this guy for this reason, this guy for that reason, this and this and this. And you, if you allow that to let you feel a certain way about yourself, man, you're about to be on a suicide mission, dog. Hell no. Nah. And if you still get the, if you do get this confidence of, yeah, I, I feel like I'm the best man and shit, a lot of women don't like that. They're going to call you cocky and shit because they want to take that from you, a lot of them. You know what I mean? But don't let them do that, man. As a man, you definitely need this. They got way too many options for you to be worried about what they feel or all this other bullshit. You know what I mean? You can't allow that. Only deal with a woman who's really trying to deal with you other than that, who gives a fuck. Keep self-improving for yourself, not for no damn female. If you got kids, for you and your kids, not for no damn female. Because even if you got a female, she will ultimately benefit off of this shit. So if she don't like this shit, then I don't know what's wrong with her. If she wants a man that depends on her to make him motivated and be great and shit, she's in a world of fucking trouble. Any smart woman would not want that in a man. She would want that man to already be driven and already trying to do this or that. But some of them want to mold men and you see what happens when they do this. When they have to pamper a man and mold a man and all this other shit. Men only going to work because I want to uh, make a woman happy instead of because I want to be great. You see the difference there? I don't really want a job, but since my girlfriend been bitching for the last... 80,000 months, I'll go up and get a job for it just because she's bitching. Nah, it, you should already be on You should already be on this shit. You see what I mean? It's not authentic. It's not authentic when you're doing this shit just to improve for uh, women. That's sad, man. No man should be thinking this way. But I see it every day on YouTube, every day. How can I improve to get a woman to like me? All oh, that's bullshit. At the end of the day, if a woman likes you that fucking... If a woman really likes you, you ain't got to do much of nothing at all. Honestly. So what does that say about men who feel like they got to do all this shit to make a woman like them? It's no different than a woman basically saying... No different than a woman basically saying, I got to show my body to get a man to like me. That's what y'all men are doing when y'all doing this shit. Just to let y'all know. So y'all have fun with that shit, man. I anticipate you fail, though. When it comes to this self-improvement shit, trying to be the strongest alpha man we could be, I anticipate you motherfuckers fail if you doing this shit for women. Matter of fact, I know you're going to fail. Because it's the moment that you realize, oh, it ain't working, man. I thought the gym and the money and, and she don't she don't um, respond to you or something. You're going to be all butthurt and acting like a little bitch. That's why I tell you, do it for you. But y'all don't want to listen. So y'all have fun with that shit. I promise you this, though. I do this shit for me. If a woman is alone to ride, she benefits. But it doesn't matter if, if a woman likes me or not. I'm doing this shit for me. That's why I don't fail. That's why I can lift weights 20 years. Because it does not matter if someone sees me or pats me on the back. That's why I can get up and go to work every day. And try to save more and more money and do all these other things. Because it does not matter if somebody tells me that they like me for it or pats me on the back for it. You see? But if I allowed that to uh, affect how I am, I probably would have been and stopped by now. Because a lot of people are not going to be happy for you. And it's not going to make a lot of women like you more. It's some bullshit. They either like you or they don't. Plain and simple, man. Plain and fucking simple. Can a woman who is not a, I'm not attracted to, there's nothing she could do to make me like her if I don't like her. Nothing. She could have a lot of money and say, I'll give you money. Yeah, I can act like I like her, but I really don't. I really want somebody else. So what? What what's the purpose, right? Did it matter if she self improved? No. It's not gonna change how I feel about her, and that's what y'all men not understanding, right? There's just certain women in this world that like you, and there's just certain women in this world who don't. And be a fucking man and accept this shit before you end up another Scotty Pippen or some other bullshit. I'm telling you, you don't want to be, you don't want no parts of this shit. <laughs>